How much water should we drink in a day? Does the Bible give us instructions on how much water we are to drink? In this video, we're going to find out. Hi, I'm Tyler, your Christian personal trainer, and here at 517 Fitness, I'm all about helping you lose weight and gain faith. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you're not new, hit that like button. Let's get into today's topic. I grew up swimming. I love being in the water. I still even believe that I can swim a mile faster than I could run a mile. Did you know that water makes up 70% of the Earth's surface and 65% of man's body? But how important do you think water is? Well, it only takes you six verses in the Bible before water is mentioned. And God said, let there be a vault between the waters to separate water from the water. Genesis 1, 6. Besides this, water is a huge part in the Christian faith. I mean, baptism. Baptism is one of two ordinances that Jesus institutes for the church. Just before he ascended to heaven, Jesus said, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Matthew 28, 19-20 So baptism is pretty important. Baptism is the action in which a person makes a public declaration of faith. Usually it's when they are fully submerged underwater and come out. This symbolizes them being clean. Just for a better visual, here's actually me getting baptized. So water is pretty important, but most people don't drink enough water. Between soda and juice, water just doesn't seem to get the respect it deserves. The FDA recommends 8 cups of water a day for an adult. I always found these types of recommendations funny. Why you might ask? Well take my wife and me as, as an example. My wife is 5 foot 1. I'm 6 1. And there's easily about a hundred pounds difference between the two of us. But yet, I'm getting the same serving size of water as my wife. This makes no sense. It's like trying to water a household garden and a farm with the same amount of water. That just wouldn't work. So how much water should we drink a day? Well, nowhere in the Bible does it give us a specific recommendation. So we're going to have to do some creative thinking. First, we know that God created the world and us. The world being 70% water and us humans being 65% water. So what if we drank our weight in ounces of water? Let's do some simple math. We know that 8 ounces equals one cup of water. And the FDA says that eight cups is what we are recommended. And that equals 64 ounces. 128 ounces equals a gallon, just to give you some knowledge of that. So let's then look at just some average weights. 100, 150, 200, 250. If we were to do 65 and 70%, 16 and 70%, you're looking at 65 and 70, you're looking at 97.5 and 105, you're looking at 30 and 40, and 162.5 and 70. If we were to drink just 65 to 70% of our body weight, we would meet the FDA standard. Do you think this is a coincidence? For people that weigh a little more than 100 pounds, this might seem 
like a lot of water. I would suggest getting a travel uh, bottle and then just doing the math of how many of those bottles you need to drink a day. That way you're only thinking about drinking maybe three to four bottles instead of thinking about the 140 ounces you're supposed to be drinking. So how much water do you drink? Do you even drink water? Let's start sharing some of our water drinking tips in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new to 517 Fitness, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're old to this channel, hit that like button. Thank you again so much for watching this video. God bless, finish strong, and I will see you in the next video.